Shalom, brother Ra coming to you with another video. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. A double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity regardless of whom here forbears. The, the videos that we do only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay, and confusion of faces. All right, the title of this video is called Chemo or Rent. Okay, now the title comes from an article that came through my news feed that I wanted to share with, with Akim. All right, so, um, you know, we, we're still in the times, man. We're, we're in evil times, okay? With this government, government shutdown, you know, it's not to be taken lightly, okay? And um, there's, there, so far, there's no end in sight, okay? And it's all being controlled by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? So I'm going to read this article and I'm going to jump right into the lesson. Okay, so the title of the, the um, article reads, Chemo or Rent, Shut Down Forces Heartbreaking Choices. Okay, so we're living in a times where you got Jake has to make a decision. And not just Jake, but these heathens as well is being affected, man. These Edomites, which we don't give a damn about these Edomites, but it just goes to show that you know, as we're entering into these times, evil times is going to affect everyone across the board. OK. And but this word is for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. OK. But it reads chemo or rent shut down forces, heartbreaking choices. It says Quishan Latimer is a furlonged federal worker fighting stage two cancer. Without her check, her family is facing a heartbreaking decision about whether to pay rent or or for chemotherapy related expenses. Worst case scenario is that we lose our home. Vladimir said, can't negotiate with my chemo. All right. And so that's the times we're in where, you know, our people having to decide whether to, you know, pay for chemotherapy related issues. OK, which is a life or death situation or pay for rent. All right. Because they're not getting any money to be able to pay for those things being the fact that the government shutdown you know has hit so i want to bring out some precepts it says ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 it says remember now thy creator uh, who's the creator yahweh the heavenly father it says in the days of thy youth so we're supposed to be seeking how by shimia was shy in the days of our youth okay not wait until we are old or in a situation where you know we we decide to call on on the lord all right we're supposed to be seeking the lord before all hell breaks loose but our people weren't doing that you know um our people you know are, are saying the, the best years of their lives is, is is their younger years when they can party and mirth it up and you know do all types of madness and wickedness okay well when when we're entering into evil times we're supposed to be seeking how about Shemiah was shy, you know, in our youth, man. It says Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Evil meaning bad times. So we are in bad times, man. There's no doubt about it. We're supposed to be seeking the Lord before these evil days came forth, man. That's why we keep pushing the message through the spirit, letting our people know Seek the Lord, seek the Lord, seek the Lord, seek the Lord. OK. Because it's going to come a point in time where the Lord is not going to be found. OK. It says, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And you see, the Lord is starting to uh, bring forth wrath, you know, and not having, you know, in any mercy on the two thirds, you know, that didn't want to take heed to the message. OK. Now, the scripture says, don't pray for these people, man, because the Lord it, it, like the Lord is not having any mercy. So the Lord is saying, don't pray for these people because he's not going to hear our prayers anyway. All right. That's why we're telling our people that, you know, you want to be covered, you know, under the protection of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because evil days are no doubt coming forth, man. OK. Jeremiah 11 and 14, it says, therefore, pray not for Salakia. Jeremiah 11 and 14, therefore, pray not thou for this people. The scripture is telling us not to pray for you two thirds, man. 
The ones who didn't want to take heed to the message, don't want to seek the, the heavenly father and the only begotten son in thy youth. Want to wait till all hell breaks loose and then you want to call on Yahweh by Shemi Shai or you want to call on the Lord. Scriptures say, Jeremiah 11 and 14, therefore pray not thou for this people, the same stiff headed, okay, hard hearted, okay, hard headed, stiff hearted people who didn't want to take heed to the message, the rebellious nation, man, the two thirds. Scriptures say, pray not for this people, man. It says, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And isn't that what Jake is going through? Having to, to figure out whether they're going to pay for chemotherapy or for rent. You know. Because why? We're in evil times. Right. Scriptures say um, there's a season and purpose for everything. Matter of fact, let me bring that out. Let me bring that out because we're we're not in, in um, good times, man. We're not in good times, man. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, it says to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right. So it's a time and purpose, you know, um, for for um, every purpose under the heaven. And what time, what, what season are we in? We're in the season of what? Winter. OK, but let's see what season we are in um, um, spiritually. OK. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8, it says a time to love and a time to hate. We're clearly in the time of lots of hate, man. OK, you've got, um, you know, our nation hating the men of the Lord, the servants of the Lord pushing his truth, according to the Bible. All right. You got these Edomites, you know, starting with the elite banking family, starting to reveal how much they hate you, you know, you Jakes, which they always revealed. We come in a point in time where the government don't give a damn about if you have chemo um, therapy that's, that's needed or if you got to pay your rent. All right. They shutting it down, man. Why? Because we in a time of hate, man. The only love that, that there, that's out there is the brotherhood, man. The ones who are in this faith, man, doing the will of your how about Shimei was shy. OK. It says a time of war and a time of peace. And we're definitely not in a time of peace. We're in a time of war. OK. And, and it's, it's, it's a spiritual war for the, the men of the Lord. But also it's, it's getting physical with. With these, uh, with with the Lord, uh, you know, brewing up this World War Three, okay, and these race riots coming forth, all right, and with you know what's ultimately is going to happen is you know Jake is going to start rioting, man, when they can't get their food stamps or their wick, you know, they can't pay their bills, you know, get Section Eight, you know, we coming in those times, man. So hey, this is not this is not to be taken lightly, man. That's why the, the scriptures say. Uh, remember the, thy creator in thy youth, because there's going to be a time where all hell is, is, is breaking loose, man, in which we're coming into those times. We are in evil times, man. OK, this is the season that we're in. And the Lord had everything set up beautifully, you know, where he's pretty much, you know, um, controlling the minds of these uh elites you know to to move forward on these these um decisions that they're making man you know making decisions to heat up world war three you know causing friction between um united states and russia fighting over uh you know controlling venezuela it's causing more animosity between russia and, and america what ultimately is going to bring forth world, uh, world war three OK, why? Because man's goings is of the Lord, as the scriptures say. Another precept I want to bring out. Amos chapter five, verse three, or it's like it. Amos chapter five, verse four. It reads, for thus saith the Lord. OK, this is coming from the Lord. Unto the house of Israel. OK, the Lord is speaking to the house of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It says, seek ye me and ye shall live. So if you seek your help by Shimei Abishai, you know, you got to search for the Lord diligently. But how do you search for the Lord? All right. The Lord has his men out there on the highways and byways, man, preaching according to the Bible, man. Let you know 
The death and destruction is coming forth. All right. But these are times that we cannot escape these evil times. But you got to seek the Lord through his men. The ones that are doing sit down lessons. OK. Hey, and you also need to be reading, too. man. You know, you got your King James Bible sitting on your uh, nightstand or your dresser collecting dust. Seek the Lord. You know, seek your how about Shemi Abishas. You can know the true Hebrew name. So you can know what you need to do to get right. All right. Because it's all in the scriptures. All right. But the man, the Lord has sent, um, servant, he's revealed his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. The Lord has um, given you passes according to his heart. All right. And it's starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down. It says, seek ye me and ye shall live. So if you want to live in the times we're coming upon Jacob's trouble, you know, which through the spirit we are already in, we are already in, you know, then you got to seek the Lord. You got to seek diligently search, search. OK. Search the true men of the Lord, man, if you want to live, you want to live, don't you? You know. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. A double Shalom taught Akim out there pushing the truth and truth in sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. Shalom.